Welcome back to Blockchain Pill. My name is Alex and we are live here from Dogpatch Studios where Caffeine AI was launched. Right now there is the first hackathon where technical and non-technical developers have been using Caffeine AI to build and deploy dApps directly on the Internet Computer Protocol. At the same time, we have Dominic Williams on stage doing his keynote about the Internet Computer Protocol and the self-writing internet. The room is packed and everybody's excited about what's coming for ICP and Caffeine. And listen, we're gonna go and ask people how they're feeling about what's happening here today, so stay tuned for that. Muggsy, how's it going? I am doing great, man. I am I'm sweating, I'm nervous, I got my submission in. It was uh, like four hours of madness, man. Like um, caffeine works amazing, and then once you realize how good it was working, your brain just blew up. Like if you're a if you're a coder or a dev, all of a sudden you're like, what if I could do this? I didn't plan on this, but what if I could do this? And like it just all came together. You know what I mean? Can you tell us a little bit about what app you built today? I built an app called uh, Patient Pilot, and it's uh, revolved around the insurance and the NEMT industry, which is non-emergency medical transport. And there's just a super high need for um, streamlining how uh, uh, patients or you know uh, clients would get a ride to their doctor's appointments and stuff. It took you four hours to code this. How, how much longer would it have taken you to build it like the old way? <laughs> 10 months. Incredible. Are you uh, confident that you're going to secure one of the uh, leading spots here at Cafe AI Hackathon? I feel really good about a third, maybe a second, and I will be praising our all of our lords above that I get a first place win. That would be amazing. And and I hope it's a dap that really can be expanded on and brought out to the world because I really feel that, you know, the insurance kind of the movement of money like that really needs to be brought in and is simplified. Tell our viewers, you know, who you are and what you're building on ICP. Hi guys, uh, my name is Danny McCoy. I've been building on ICP uh, for about four, four and a half years. I'm the founder of the platform called Ubin, which is a self-sovereign file storage platform on the internet computer. It allows you to self-own your asset canisters and store whatever files you want with a Google Drive-esque uh, interface. What do you think about a caffeine launch here and the first bunch of developers, technical and non-technical, using it? I think it's a beautiful thing. As somebody who's taught classes for ICP and has always longed for new depths to join the join the ranks, uh, I, I think it's a beautiful and very powerful development that Definity has uh, engineered here. And I think it's a beautiful launch pattern that they've had with it. And I think it... it it, uh, it comes with inherent success with the turnout today at the event. Are you planning to use Caffeine to uh, help you with what you're building with Ubin? Uh, me, myself, no. Um, only because I, I've been building for so long. I have so many tools and things already at hand that, you know, I'm pretty quick with the, pretty snappy with it. Uh, but I do plan on helping other people get involved using Caffeine. And I think it's a great step for onboarding new devs. And I'm happy to help with that however I can. Tell our viewers, how was your experience with Caffeine? Oh, it was a lot of fun. It was able to do a lot for me and just able to put in a bunch of, you know, English English language prompts and it worked very, very naturally. So I'm super happy. What was the first prompt that you put into Caffeine? So I, I cheated a little bit. I was using some other AI models. I put some prompts in there to help me give better prompts to the LLM, <laughs> which was allowed, which was totally allowed. Uh, but I generated a little decentralized gaming thing and created a bunch of modals so you can submit forms and things like that. And obviously the login mechanism was super important using internet identity, our favorite. So I was able to implement that immediately as well. Do you think you have a solid chance to winning this hackathon? We will see. We'll see. I think the UX they emphasized was super important because obviously they want to showcase a beautiful product. So really focus on that and leverage AI to kind of give me good styling. And so I think it, it looks pretty good and we'll see. We'll see how it compares. I didn't really look at other people's projects, so I'm not sure, but I'm confident. I think I think it's pretty good. Jesse, welcome. Please tell our viewers who you are and what you do. Uh, hi, I'm Jesse. Uh, I've been a part of the ICP ecosystem for a couple of years as an entrepreneur. Currently, I'm working with OpenChat on growth and strategy, platform integration, and community building. Yeah, and we are now here at Dogpatch Studios. We witnessed the caffeine launch. We witnessed the first people to actually try it. What do you think about today? I mean, I'm so impressed. I actually just got a little first hands-on time with Caffeine. I asked it to code up a new chat application and it did pretty good. I don't think the open chat guys need to worry about it quite yet, but I think for small custom purpose built applications for non-technicals, it's kind of incredible. Like watching people be like, I have an idea for an app and Caffeine's like, boom, here's the first draft of that app. That's a lot of power. And then the ability to integrate it and interact with it I think about what I did in five minutes. I'm like, what could I do with a month? What about the keynotes? You know, Dom presenting his keynote about the self-writing internet and the other panels here. 
I mean, I think it's just really exciting. It's like a really, it's really cool to see such like a crystallized vision of what the future could look like. And as a non-technical entrepreneur in the space, I'm especially excited about the ability to build my own apps without touching any code. Tell our viewers, you know, who you are and you know, what you build today. So my name is Nelson. I built a AI fitness coach. It analyzes like a live video of you exercising, like doing squats or overhead press. And in real time, they'll tell you like how you're doing and how to like improve your form. So that way you can work out more effectively and get stronger and healthier for free without paying for an expensive like in-person coach. That is incredible. You did that today with Caffeine AI? Yes. That is, that is absolutely it's incredible. like 11 prompts, but yes. 11 prompts to, be, to build such an app is incredible. How has your experience been overall using Caffeine AI? Was it easy to build the app? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, it surprisingly got the video part working after a few tries, which I was impressed about because I didn't think it could, but it did. I'm here with an OG ICP content creator and builder. How's it going, Preston? Welcome to the event. Hey, it, I'm, I'm having a ball out here. Um, I'm a huge fan of caffeine and love what, what ICP is doing right now. And it's good to finally meet you in person, man. Yeah, likewise. You promised me a shirt. I'm waiting for the shirt. You don't have it today. Maybe some other day you're going to have it. Just give me your size. I've been waiting how long for your size, man? That's true. That's true. <laughs> what do you think about caffeine? Like today we saw the first bunch of people, technical and non-technical, trying caffeine AI. What do you think is going to be the impact moving forward? Well, I, I just talked to one of my, my team members that's doing a hackathon using caffeine and he loves it, right? So I, I, got, I got a chance to get hands on myself and it, I created a decentralized wallet um, using caffeine straight from the prompt. So, I mean, if you can do that, then it, I think things, it's ready for prime time. And I'm glad that the alpha, right? We got an announcement for the alpha tomorrow. So everybody who is an investor or a user of ICP, you should be very pleased at the direction of the network and the protocol. 100%. I'm here with Hank at the Caffeine Hackathon. The hackathon is over. Tell our viewers, you know, how you feel about it. So um, I was super nervous to, to start with because I'm starting with three projects, uh, the Mingle Trade Migrator, the Quokka Launchpad, and a uh, uh, peer-to-peer NFT trading platform. That's, I think, what we need at the IC as well. But I did not submit it. I submitted the Mingle Trade Migrator because I think it's more necessary here. How was your uh, experience coding using Caffeine? It's nice. It's feeling great just by, by talking to uh, Caffeine. Um, it's creating an app with just one, one let's say, sentence. How was your experience coding with Caffeine? The experience was great. Um, short. I'm glad we get to use it for a little bit longer after the uh, competition. Uh, people were great. What was the first prompt that you put into Caffeine AI? I was trying to create a collectible card game with NFTs. Um, it was a bit of a complicated prompt, and I ended up having to scratch it and kind of break it down uh, by pieces at the end. So that's kind of a little alpha there. Do you think you're gonna win the competition here with your project? Uh, there's a chance. Uh, the upload was a little uh, tough. So we'll see We'll see how it goes. I haven't, even, I haven't really checked and see how good it works yet. Tell our viewers how your experience was building and using Caffeine AI. Oh, it was incredible. It made building something that I normally <laughs> would have to go hire people to do, something that I could do in a few hours and uh, m made an app called Cubby Key, which is a password manager for families. So we'll see how it goes, but it's a great experience. Compared to how long it would have taken you to build it without the Caffeine AI, how big was the difference? Oh, I mean, it would have normally taken like a month, you know, and thousands of dollars or whatever, and uh, a lot of back and forth and headaches. So it's great to just see it happen. And it makes me really appreciate the works that devs do as well. I think that this isn't really a, a tool to replace devs or anything. It's just to enhance them and their powers. So there you have it. Those were the first thoughts uh, right here from the Caffeine AI launch and the first Caffeine AI hackathon. I hope you guys enjoyed this interviews and let me know in the comment section below what do you think people are going to build using Caffeine AI in the next six or 12 months. I think it's going to be an incredible time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.